Y'all ready for this? Let's go. Come on in. <laughs> we moved here to this apartment. We looked at different apartments in downtown LA, and this is the one we chose at the Circa. It's a penthouse. It's a 4,000 square foot. It's a three bedroom, an office, five bathrooms, living room, kitchen, dining room, and it has two balconies. So stay tuned to this video so y'all can see. By the way, guys, me and Steffi literally decorated everything piece by piece. Everything you see here in this apartment is new. That's why it took us a while to get this video together because we ordered stuff and one month, two months behind, we finally got it together after three to four months. So come on in. So this is a walkway when you enter. To your left, you're gonna see all these decorations of glass with some fancy umbrellas. You know it, because California rains all the time. <laughs> we're missing a piece here. That's why I say we're 99%, you know, finished. Uh, you walk in this way, we got three glass mirrors. The Hall of Mirrors. <laughs> uh, this is one of uh, Stephanie's favorite uh, place in the penthouse. Just because every time we get ready and we follow us on social media, right that before is we leave, true. Right, oh my right God. before we leave to a party, to a club, to a bar, to a family party, or even dinner or anything, and we're super ready, this is where we come check ourselves out and we do selfies and boomerangs. That's Y'all yeah, heard? So we're missing a piece here too. Yeah, we have a bedazzled cloth that's just gonna look amazing. Okay, yeah, so over here we have a utility closet, a laundry room, nothing fun about that. They're pretty basic. Yeah, uh, I like we'll keep all the like, storage stuff or I'm sure. Yeah, so storage for like our YouTube shit like that. Come on. Okay, guys. So here is where we entertain. As you can see, everybody likes to pose. There's a lot of things that you can take pictures with, and uh, the lighting is amazing. Obviously, you guys have seen it. Um, this is our kitchen area, our bartending area, our feeding area, okay. and then over here we have our dining room. We've never used, but. It's pretty, it's gorgeous. That's kind of like what I envisioned when I was doing it. I like very clean, very luxury, very like fantasy. We have our little bar here, which we haven't used either, but we will when we do our, our next Q&A. This is our living room. We actually were fighting because of this. I didn't want blue couches because I feel like I wanted a very like seductive, like blacks, golds, um, roses. But I'm actually so happy that he convinced me. I feel like it's one of our main attractions. Everybody comments on them. I was able to mix in a couple of blue in it, so I kind of like ended up making it like a luxury, um, kind of like how I, I envisioned, but just blue, you know? And then these are my babies. I think they're so beautiful. I have a thing with leopards. Literally, on, on my 15, I had my 15 leopard in red. I had Marilyn Monroe um, leopard. Yeah, it's just crazy. I'm obsessed with leopard. And then we have this baby over here. This is our newest addition. And this is actually an art piece. And these are actually Swarovski crystals. Yeah, this baby costs us like, I wanna say, I'm like a good chunk of money, but it's gorgeous. It's one of a kind. This piece here was made by H Studio. And just, he is so, extravagant and very different. That's something that I always like, it catches my eye. And then obviously, as you can see in the background, we have cryptoarena.com. So it's a really nice view to take pictures here on this half moon. And we have obviously the whole city. The first time my, my kids ever came in, literally Roy was like, mom, I could see the world. And it was the cutest thing of life. Like I couldn't, like so precious. But yes, do you guys want to see the world? Show them. You guys can actually see, I'll zoom in after. You can see the Hollywood sign over there. Then you can see uh, Beverly Hills out there. You can see Bel Air right there. Okay, so yeah, so then we have a couple extra chairs. As you guys can see, we host a lot. So we need to make sure that we have places to sit. Here is another sitting area. And I just love it. Again, these sculptures and pedestals were also by H Studio. Again, very extravagant, very luxury, very seductive. I love it. I kind of threw my little black here. So yeah, again, black is very seductive for me. I love it. And then our balcony is... come out here I barely started coming out here like two weeks ago because um, I don't know I just get really afraid 
Here is our junior suite or our guest room. I wanted to keep it very clean and white, just kind of like, you know how when you go to a hotel, everything is literally white. It makes you feel refreshed, relaxed. Um, the bed, you know, we wanted to keep it very classy. Again, this is another piece by H Studio. Very different, I love it. Uh, we compared it with like these really pretty glamour lights. And of course, you guys know I love willow trees. And we ended up putting our baby here. So it's just very, I don't know, fantasy-like. And then this room actually has a whole bunch of closets. It has this big one right here, which is empty. You guys wouldn't want to see. Has an enclosed restroom. And then we have this big old beautiful restroom. You know, like I, I, did, like I said, I wanted to keep it simple. So later on, I do want to put some type of painting just so I can keep it kind of like still clean, but add a little character to it. And then it does, it's literally like a donut here. So then here's the other closet. Again, like I said, they're empty. So there's not much to show. So all the bottles we have up there are empty and they have literally been drank in every bit we've had. And it's just, honestly, public had the idea and I loved it. This is another bottle we're adding to the collection. This was um, from yesterday's. So each bottle, well, Stephanie just told you guys, each bottle has a meaning to it. And this one actually was from yesterday. As y'all see right here, Benny Sullivan Nopal. He signed it. Uh, Steffi's right there. I signed it. And then we had Christian Blends and all these other friends that came with us definitely is going up there, like Steffi said. So then we come into the kitchen and literally the funnest thing over here is like the cabinets all open. They all have a different function. So this one opens up, this one as well. This one opens like this, this one opens like that. And I love it, like it's so futuristic. Um, we have a microwave, we have a coffee maker here that, and we never use, cause obviously we don't drink coffee. We have two ovens. Okay, so this is our fridge. You know, all we have is literally our meal preps and yogurts. You know, we're trying to be healthy. Miami's right around the corner. Um, and Sprites for the guests. <laughs> oh yeah, Sprites for the guests. We actually had guests over and I felt so bad. We don't have any snacks, no nothing. So I had to like literally like find stuff to give them an offer. This is our freezer. Again, we have Hot Pockets because the kids love them. And then I have a couple of meats and then we have ice. And then this is where we keep our drinks. Um, again, I have to restock, we had guests over. Okay, so this is Pablo's bar that is literally so empty because we've been hosting a lot. <laughs> but it is what it is, we need to go to Bethmo, our best friend. Okay, so here, the really cool thing is that I always complain a lot about storage stuff. And this is like my best friend. Literally all these here are cabinets and we have obviously our liquor, we have board games. It's very convenient for us. All right guys, so this is the kids room. So I wanted very colorful for the kids to have fun. Um, very vibrant. I have a couple of books, a cute little table. Um, I, I order a lot of things on Amazon, Wayfair. The trees, I don't know, I loved everything about it, so. And here's the closet again. This room does come with a Jack and Jill to the restroom. So yeah, so this is a Jack and Jill. It could also be a guest restroom, but again, this one comes with a tub, so it's perfect for the kids. That's how we ended up choosing this room. Again, I'm obsessed with Leopard. We got this from Z Gallery. It's such a beautiful piece because it's bubble paint. I loved it, it was very different. And then my friend over here, Bedazza, looking gorgeous. And then here is our other restroom. This is the one that's considered our guest restroom. Again, I added a tree. I have a thing with nature and houses because <laughs> it doesn't belong there. So it's very exotic. Okay, so now the big finale, our master bedroom. I put a lot of work into and I'm so excited for you guys to see. So I wanted to keep, as you guys can see, very seductive. And obviously I brought out all my roses that Pablo has ever given me. Okay, you know, we have a little set of light, a little sitting area. Again, I, I went with the pampas, very seductive. We got the and this is where all the magic happens, guys. This is where 
This is where the OnlyFans. All right, guys. So for the next part, I'm gonna let Pablo take over because this is his thing. He's fucking excited for it. All right, guys. So I I converted this office into my man cave. Come check this out, yo. <laughs> I got my chair here and I got my working area here. So this is where we edit our videos for you guys. Then if you come this way, this is my favorite piece in this room. I got this uh, Supreme Mortal Kombat game. It has all three games. If y'all know about Mortal Kombat, it has all three games. So like, we can both, we can, y'all come over, we can play shit, we can battle, whatever. A lot of you guys that ask, here is my shoe collection. I actually did a video on my shoe collection, which one was my most expensive, my least favorite, my favorite, my most comfortable. So if y'all wanna see that video or that vlog, I'm gonna leave it down in the description down below so you can check that video out. So I got a, a, my collection here of stuff that I collect. I actually got this signed by Mark Sanchez. He's played with the Denver Broncos and got traded to the Jets. Um, and a bunch of little other ones there. Got my Supreme gun. And then like I said, all my shoe collections are here in the background. You guys and they're, it's super tall. I don't know if you guys yeah. understand. That's 16 feet tall. It's insane. So oh. that, if you guys are wondering why I'm working orange ladder here, People it's because ask. of that reason. It's People insane. Ask how. People ask, how you get that height? Like when people come, they're like, they're tall too, but they can't reach that shit. And then like, I'm, you know, shorter than them, so I had to buy ladders. So I got my Supreme fridge here. This is one of my favorite pieces in here too, also still brand new. I got my Power Ranger helmet here. And then I got, you know, my little frames. This actually says, brr, yeah. you already know. I got my CD LA right here. And then I got the LA Lakers when they won the championship. Now, this, you're coming to my personal bathroom. So you guys can come this way. This is where I brush my teeth, all that shit, put my cologne right before I leave. <laughs> and yo, check this out, come this way. This is what I like about this shower. <laughs> so like, it's huge, big space, right? I'm showering, whatever, late at night, sometimes I'm just chilling, and I look at the whole fucking view while I'm showering. No, he's lying, he's like, he uses so he looks at me while I'm editing videos. So, this is my walk-in closet here. It's literally a masterpiece, but Pablo is so like, oh. So here I have all my uh, branded jackets. Up there, I'm missing two pieces because I have them down here. I got my branded sandals. I got nothing but sweatpants there. Kind of divided by color. Then over here, I got nothing but branded uh, shirts and sweats and stuff like that. You know, Gucci, Gucci, Dior, Versace, Burberry, whatever. Um, hats, all my brand uh, backpacks and luggage bags. Here are all my belts that are branded also. All my glasses here too. Um, then here are all my shorts. Here are just regular jackets. This section here is my jerseys. All my black shirts, all my red shirts, all my white shirts. <laughs> hey, Pablo's uniform for the month. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's divided by color as much as possible that I could then. And uh, that's practically it for the, and then I got extra shoes there. These are like my dailies or my working shoes or whatever. Um, other than that, I'm gonna have Stephanie get back on camera and she's gonna show you uh, her bathroom and her, um, her walk-in closet. All right, guys, so obviously, again, it does a little loop. We're back in the room. I chose nudes. Very girly, got the Louis Vuitton on here. On this side, I bought in the pampas again with bodies, like, I don't know, just something about the restroom and bodies, you know, I have my little miniature perfumes here. Wanted to keep the golds here, nudes. Um, and then I actually got this pampas. Look at how cute this is. From Marlene's Flowers. So nice. If you guys want to go check them out, honestly, they have the most amazing things I haven't found anywhere else. And then we have my toilet area. My throne, the bathroom throne. And again, I, I brought feathers. Very Hollywood glamour. The bathtub again, these are the flowers that Pablo got me. I have them all over the house. Okay, so then this shower here, nothing special. Um, I do have bodies out towards the back. <laughs> I'm gonna go in here. I do have more mini bodies. I don't know what, what Stephanie has with the body <laughs> things, but like, <laughs> I see that looks like her, right? But this guy has eight pack. Like, what the fuck do you see an eight pack on me? You heard like one, two, three, four. <laughs> Bro, this guy has an eight fucking pack. Like it's for inspiration, babe. It's for. Inspiration. What are you guys? Yo, comment down below if y'all think I look like this. I know. 
I know y'all gonna comment because Steffi looks like this, but I don't even look near close to that. <laughs> Anyways, right here in this mirror, as you guys notice, I do one of my TikToks, some videos. So this is my favorite place to take pictures. So yeah, make sure to follow me on TikTok and on my Instagram. I'll go ahead and leave my information down in the description. So feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so then here is my vanity. I still have a little work here, but obviously for the most part, it's done, like Pablo said. So this is my closet. These are all my bags along the top. Again, this is my clothes, this is my clothes, this is my jackets. Um, I'm like, nothing too special. Right here we have my hats, glasses, jewelry, belts, a couple of hats. And then here I have my long dresses, my feather friends. And then on this side we have my shoes. So yeah, so obviously nothing compared to Pablo, but this is my collection so far. The thing with me, if I fall in love with something, I'm like a ride or die. So that's the reason why, you know, like I have a hard time kind of like moving on from one pair of shoes. So I've had these for a while. I love them. I can't get rid of them. And then I don't want to add any new ones, but yeah. And then this drawer here, nothing special, just PJs. Bajas and all that good stuff. This is like my intimates, you know, fun stuff. I think I have socks here and I have like. This is actually outfits. one of my favorites. Uh, like when we go out, like, here, let me see. Like, guys, when we go out, and I'm always fucking ready for seeing her, obviously. When we go out, this is probably the favorite place in the building or in this penthouse for me when I see Stephanie changing, opening that drawer, and then she just puts her underwears on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're weird. Yo, like, I see that. Every fucking day, like every morning and every night, she comes here, she opens this shit up, and then you know, she goes to her fucking picks one of these. Babe. <laughs> or this is supposed to be uh, for the master bedroom, but I consider it as my man cave. I have the other balcony right here, and it gives you the same view as the other one. Just um, a little more because we, we a little more, yeah. <laughs> we'll literally stand out here and look at our neighbors. Right now. So, right now, we're gonna go down there and we're gonna show you the pool area. There's a bar, uh, there's a fire pit, barbecue pit, a gym. There's a lot of different things. So, if you're even thinking of becoming a circa member, I can show you guys around and you know, get yourself an idea, right? All right, guys, so we are going down to show you guys all the amenities that this building has. They are amazing. We used them a couple times, you know, because we obviously were trying to get everything ready, but we're kind of done, so you're going to see us more often here on the meat floor. Okay, so this is the little waiting area to go to the library or just a lounge room. Let's go. And on that side, it's like a work lounge. And then again, on the eighth floor, Wi-Fi does come with it, so it's really nice for people who want to come and study and work. Yeah, this nice. is the library here, very nice. I still haven't yet took pictures of the building, but I will soon. <laughs> this is the work lounge. You can study in both, but I think this is more for like, I think you could rent this out for like meetings and stuff, for actual like businesses and stuff. They have a printer here, if you need to print anything. Again, they have little rooms that you can and then you have the crypto arena view, which is really nice for pictures and all. <laughs> okay, so now we're out here on the eighth floor and a lot of people come and bring their dogs. It's a really chill area. We have the grass here to play games. We have a lot of grills here, a lot of sitting area. There's fireplaces. Out there, well, it heads to the pool, the gym, jacuzzi, barbecue pits, which we'll go there now after this. So then here, we have a lot of games. We like to play ping pong, and we have other games in here, another fireplace, and the view is just amazing. I will go ahead and show you guys. This is a little bar area, and you can actually rent this for parties, for little All private this. parties. This is another office area that you are able to book. Um, they have restrooms here, again, Wi-Fi on this side. 
Um, you usually see a lot of people here during the weekend. They come, they bring their wine. You can actually get a bartender or a chef to come and cook here. Again, more activities. Um, they've actually, they always have sports here as well. So Paula sometimes comes down here with the boys. When I'm a little annoyed, I'm like, oh, I can't. Boys in my life, I can't. Again, this is another seating area. When the Circa hosts, like, they usually host like holiday parties. This is where it all happens. And they're actually really fun. We always try to come to them if we're not here. So right here, you see all these buildings. You see Crypto Arena. They are getting ready to do like a Super Bowl experience here. So that's what this is all for. So this is the convention center. This is where all the art shows, car shows happen. Right now what they're working on is the uh, Super Bowl experience. And pretty much this is all gonna be an amazing event. Obviously everybody's excited for it. And yeah, so that's what this side has to offer. Now let's go ahead into the pool area. So then we have, again, like I said, a lot of barbecue sections and it has literally like it's a little table, trash cans, and over here we have the lounge pool. Okay, so we've made it to the pool area. So this here is a lounge pool. I want to say it's what, three, three feet tall, so for kids, not too much swimming. We have a whole bunch of chairs. We have little cabanas and some of them, well, no, all of them have TVs and you can also rent them out as well. And then we have two hot tubs. Uh, for some reason, we always come to this one. <laughs> and then again, another lounge area with a fire pit. This is the pool, I wanna say, oh no, this is also three. Yeah. It's a little bit taller. And then we have a, a cycling area and then a little grass area. Yeah, we got some action going on over there. I love it. And then we have the gym across from the pool. This is a gym we'll go inside right now. It looks like there's a lot of people yeah, right now. Yeah, it's a lot of people. So there's a lot of machine. Um, they do have rooms in there for yoga or for private sessions. They have restrooms, they have showers, and that's where me and Paulo start our workout. All right, guys, so this is our gym. We're just gonna show a little bit because obviously we're working out. We don't wanna make them feel uncomfortable. But right here is a sitting area, a couple of bar stools for people to take their shake or a little break. And then again, here's where all the action happens. Okay, so yeah, so obviously right here, like I said, it's right across from the pool. On this side, we have the city view if you want to show them. Oh. And then towards the back, they do have rooms for you to kind of book out if you have like a trainer that you want to do or yoga. Okay, so we have the restrooms here. And then we have This is the end of our video. We hope you liked and loved this video and our penthouse. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can be the first ones to be alerted every time we post up a new video. video. Let's Bye go. Bye, guys. Game. Brr, we out. Just me and you, baby, can I give up? Nah.